Hey, fourth graders from Chimicum Elementary School, Miss G here, starting with your purple belt. How exciting is that? Several of you have gotten your green belt. You have practiced low E and you are starting to conquer the E. Nice job. With our new number five purple belt, we have another new note. The note is D. Okay, and it's sort of like an add a finger game, isn't it? Just like it was for B, A, and G, now we're adding a finger to play D. So we have, just as it's showing, this is your thumb, pointer, middle, ring, and then on your right hand, your pointer, your middle, and your ring. We still aren't using our pinky yet. That will be the next note, okay? So Old McDonald uses low D. So let's go over that. Back thumb, left hand on top, one finger, two, three. We're making a G with our top hand, and our bottom hand, we are getting used to our low E, and we're adding a finger to play D, all right? And I want to just really point out that this is a note that's lower than E. Some of you in the last recording, if you remember me showing you, you were playing E, an octave higher. Remember it's low E. And now we have low D. So we're going down, we're getting lower. And if you look at your music, you're going G, 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 D. It's going down, it's going down toward the ground when you play your low D. E, E, D. B, B, A, A, G. D. The D is lower, and when I sing it, I don't want to sing it an octave higher, so I want to make sure I'm playing the low D. The tricky part of this song is you're playing along using mostly quarter notes, counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There's a half note. One, two, three, four, one, two, rest four. So you want to make sure you're resting on three coming in on beat four. One thing that I sometimes do so that I can make sure I get my counting right, and I think you should do this too, I write in my counting. So let's write in together. One, starting at the beginning, right after the four four sign, I'm going to start writing my counting under my notes. One, two, three, four, and then my next measure one, two, three, and do you remember what we do with beat four? We put it in parentheses to show that we hold it, okay, when it's a half note. And then one, two, three, four, four quarter notes. One, two, hold, rest on three, and play beat four. One, two, three, four, one, hold, rest, four. Okay? So you can go along and write your counting in. When we get to the pick up to the third line, we're going to add our eighth notes. Do you remember how to count the eighth notes? This one's coming in on beat one, two, three. If you said four, you're correct, but it's four and. So I'm going to write that measure in because it's going to be different for you. You can write the others in before it because they're just quarter notes and half notes. And you've done a lot of those. So now we have one, sorry, where am I here? One, two, rest, four, and. Okay? Next measure. One, two, three, what's this one? Four, and. One, two, three, hold four. Now we've got beat one with an and. One, and, two, three, and four. So I'm going to make sure that I'm writing in one plus two, three plus four. If you can't make a fancy and sign, you can just make a little plus like it. There's a fancy and. One and two, three plus. Plus is just like the and. That's just fine, okay? So I'm not gonna do them all for you. When you get to the ones where there's two in a row, it's just two in a row. One and two and. You write it in, just like that. I'll do that one for you. One plus two plus beat three, four. 
1 plus 2 plus 3, 4. Okay, it really helps to write in your counting. And that will help you practice. Now, what can you do also to help you practice? Can you write your letter names in? You can, but I would do them always in pencil because you don't want to be leaving them there. You want to maybe write them in lightly so you can erase them. So I could write in at the top of the beginning, I could do G, 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 D. See how lightly I'm writing those in? G, 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 D above the notes. Just very lightly so that I can see it, but I can also erase it. Okay? So that's a good way to help you what? Practice. If you said practice, you are right on. Now, guys, I don't know about you, but I've been singing Old MacDonald since I was a little girl because I used to play um, Old MacDonald Had a Farm with my, with my um, family when I was a kid. So, you know what? Sing through the song a couple of times. Find your G. You can go to the recording and sing along. Remember how I put all those great recordings in there? Do you remember how to find them? Let's do a screen share. Let's see if I can find them for you. We will go to where I was with, I was just processing a video, but I'm gonna go up here to my fourth grade, that's your class, and I'm going to find my classwork, and I'm going to go where it says using the practice links. Do you remember the practice links? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Recorder songs to practice with. Let's see what happens when I click on that. Hmm. Do I see Old McDonald in here? Dun, da, da, da. This one's Old McDonald. Old McDonald, Old McDonald. This one's the fast one. That's the slow one. Well, let's sing along with the slow one. And I, sometimes I just like to sing. I don't have to play. I like the introduction. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some chicks. A chick, chick here, and a chick, chick there. Here a chick, there a chick, everywhere a chick, chick. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Okay, and while I was singing along, do you know what all of a sudden occurred to me? It occurred to me that we could do some clapping of the rhythm with it. Do you remember how we clap quarter notes? One, two, three, four. Do you remember how we clapped half notes? One, two, three, four. Do you remember how we clapped a rest or didn't clap a rest because we don't want to hear it, but we want to feel it, so we rest? And do you, excuse me, do you remember how we did eighth notes? One and two and three and four. Those are the TTs, right? So let me go over them again. Quarter notes are ta's, ta, ta, ta. Half notes are um, ta, ah's, ta, ah, ta, ah. Eighth notes are TTs. One and two and three and four and. And then we have rests where we feel it. So if I'm clapping along, it would look like this. I think, I hope you can still see me. Um, as well as hear the audio. And see if I can start it over. Just give you a little bit so you get an idea. Bum, 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 bum. I like the intro. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. Note. One, two, three, four. Five. Note. Rest. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
Remember when we hold longer than two beats? We rub, rub, rub. So we go one, hold, two, three, four. Okay? That's the last measure because it's a dotted half note. I didn't see it till this moment. All right. At the bottom of the page, I should have seen it because they're telling us about it, aren't they? They're saying something new. Miss G, you missed it. Don't miss it, everybody. Something new. All right. Once I've done the writing in of the counting, write in my notes, clap along, sing along. Then I can get my recorder up and I can finger along, saying my notes, G, 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 D, E, E, D, B, B, A, A, G, so that I'm able to um, practice along with it. So let me show you what that would look like. So this is kind of the way we practice, guys. We don't just go, okay, I'm going to practice a song. Oh, no, I don't know what I'm doing. No, we write in the counting. We write in our notes. We sing along to the song. We clap the rhythm. And then we finger the notes in rhythm to the song. So let me finger it for you. See if I can adjust the screen a little bit so that you can see my recorder a little bit better. So I know I'm going to start with a G. Well, oh, turned off for some reason. Let's try this again. Eh, don't do this to me. There we go. Okay, what's it doing? Refusing to play, that's what it's doing. Let me close out of it once and I'll come back to it. Still doing the slow version, right guys? Here we go. So I'm just fingering and speaking. So I'm going to start with my G. My other fingers are in position. Remember to be over home base. G, 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 D, E, E, D. I was still singing. I was still doing my notes. I was still counting. In fact, my foot was tapping along. Okay? Now I might be able to play along to it. Let's see if I'm able. Because I've done all the work. See if I can do it. I still have to read my music. Bum, 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 bum. Here it goes. before and that's why I was able to do it. 
Boys and girls, this is a long song. Did anybody hear me doing some sucking in of my saliva? Gross! But that's what we do, because otherwise it comes out this end and goes on my book. Yucky poo. So don't forget that part, and that keeps our, our saliva to ourselves, right, everybody? Well, on that note, I am going to come out of the sharing, and hopefully you did see me playing, all right? Your D looks like this. Okay, I'm gonna go over the clapping one more time to make sure you know quarter notes, half notes, eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, and then our dotted half note, one, two, three. Okay, and then our rests, which look like that. All right, good luck to you. Write in all of your counting, write in all of your notes, and once you get good at it, erase those, okay? Don't forget to send me a video of you playing. I love seeing my videos. It lifts my, my whole day. It makes me happy to see you playing, okay? So make Miss G happy, make your families happy, do your music, guys. Music will keep you happy your whole lifetime. I hope this helped you today. It helped me, all right? It lifted me right up. So, happy Thursday. This is Thursday, the 16th of April. All right, guys. See you soon.